How quick can you focus? Boom. 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 Can you focus? Focus. 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 What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, so today is Thursday, February the 27th. And I'm off today, and today is a great day. And you might be asking yourself why. Well, one, because we woke up, so that's, that's good. We woke up this morning, so it's good. But the other reason is, the one I'm so excited about, is because I just got my new camera. That, um, I've been, well, actually, I've been wanting these cameras for a while. But, um, recently, back, if you watch Vlogmas, um, you know that my, um, my old vlog camera, it, um, it stopped. Well, it still works, but the microphone is going in it, so I can't use it. So, this is my old vlog camera. Um, it's the Canon PowerShot N. Um, really good camera. Um, I got it refurbished for like a hundred dollars um, about three or four years ago. Maybe may have been longer than that. But um, now the um, microphone. If you watch my vlog, if you watch the vlog, you already know why. Um, it involves some Zaxby's uh, sweet and sour sauce, and basically the microphone is gone. So the camera still works, still comes on, still records all that kind of good stuff. But the audio doesn't work on it anymore because I got sweet and sour sauce in it. So. Um, yeah, this is not obsolete. Of course, I can still use it to take pictures because it does take good pictures. Um, it's, I don't know what it is, but like I've, I've taken this when we've gone to the beach the past couple of years. And it's just, I don't know, it's, I guess it's like the sunlight, the a combination between the sunlight and the, I don't know, this, but it takes really good pictures. I just use it anytime I don't have, um, I'm recording video while I won't need the audio. Um, like eventually when I get done with my, when I start getting back into doing my cooking videos, I can like have like a dual, well actually a triple, a triple, Three, anyway, a three-way camera set up. Anyway, it's just to get a bunch of different angles, so we have angles all over the place. I, I've been looking for, um, looking at different cameras and stuff like that. You know, some that were in the same price range as this one, some a little bit cheaper. I decided to get this one. Now, I've already, of course, I've mentioned this. If you, if um, you watch my vlogs, I've mentioned this camera. I want to talk a little bit, so if you want to just fast forward this, you can. Um, like I said, I've been looking, researching. It was this camera. I, I got between this camera. Um, it was like the Sony HX80 or something like that. And then there's another camera that I wanted. It was the Sony. A6000 or A5000, I believe the A5000 is the one that um, I saw first and then the, 6, the A6000 came out. Um, it's the more recent version, I believe. I could be wrong. Anyway, I decided to get that one because um, it has really good quality, but it's just something about the audio on those cameras. I got me a Canon uh, G7X and um, it's in this beautiful, oh wait a minute, yeah, this beautiful box right here. Um, I got it from Amazon and um, I know I've wanted it. I wanted to go ahead and get it for like a week and a half, two weeks now. But um, I've just been going back and forth. I've been trying to find the absolute best price. And I was on Amazon and um, Walmart. And y'all know like a lot of these uh, different like third party sellers that are on Amazon and Walmart. They had them. And, um, and it's just something about those uh, low, like those bundle packs that didn't sit well with me. Because I'm like, why are you getting all this extra stuff? And the camera, you getting the camera plus all this extra stuff for um, less than you could pay just for the camera by itself. Anyway, I started to, um, I was looking at those. I was like two that I wanted. Really, I wanted one of them that came with a tripod, a regular tripod. Um, of course, a memory card and a, what was the third thing I wanted? Oh, or a spare battery. So I saw one that I was looking at and then I decided to go a little bit deeper into it. So I started reading the um, reviews on the ones that I saw on Amazon and the ones I saw on um, Walmart. One of them was like the seller that they bought them from. They sent them a used camera, which is nothing wrong with used cameras and nothing like that. Um, used or refurbished, like I said, my old vlog camera, the Canon uh, PowerShot N. It was, I got it refurbished from um, uh, the Canon website. And then my big camera, my uh, DSLR, my Nikon D3100, I purchased it um, refurbished as well. So it's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to sell a camera, that's it. In my opinion, it's it's uh, posted as a new camera. It's you know they should let you know if it's used or not. Anyway, so I read that that didn't sit too well with me. And then on a bunch of like the little bundles that I saw, they were um, I started reading like the the because they had a good amount of uh, like one star reviews, and I saw like maybe four or five, maybe six reviews where a lot of people were saying that something went wrong with the camera. And then I guess they tried to call Content Canon to get it fixed, and they basically told them that. Um, they could not fix it because it wasn't a um, like a US uh, it wasn't made for US sales or something like that and so they couldn't fix it it was like a gray market camera that wasn't supposed to be sold in the US I don't know something like that so I, I like I said I saw like five or six I saw like five or six of those so that kind of just took me away from me getting those little bundle packs and uh, from like the third party sellers so I ended up I was um, there was like at around my camera um, BH Photo Video, which that's where I got my, um, my Nikon D3100 from, and I was originally going to get, um, this camera from them, um, because 
they used to not have sales stacks on their purchases. Now, I don't know what happened to that, but it used to be like, because I know when I got my, my Nikon D 3100, I didn't have to pay sales stacks on it. And I think when I got my iMac, I didn't have to pay sales stacks on it. I can't remember that. But anyway, um, I ended up going uh, through Amazon. So, I ordered it Monday night, and it came today. And I also got me a, I ordered me a new tripod. And like I said, because like um, this camera... Cause I don't vlog that much, but this camera is mainly gonna be used for um, like sit down type of videos that I do on this channel, or um, I will be using it for my cooking channel when I, like I said, I wanna do that, like the dual or triple uh, camera setup. Um, because I'm not sure what the record, I heard that these cameras, they don't have like a recording limit on them. Um, it just kinda depends on the memory card you have or something like that, I guess I'll, I'll check all that out once I get into it. But, um, it, or I think it does, it, it may record continuously for so long, but it's like splits the clip up or something, which I'm okay with that. But it's just my Nikon D3100 and this camera, they only record tip, and this camera's all beat up. Y'all see the um, thing is not even, it's supposed to be covered all the way, but it's not. I've dropped it and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, like I said, my Nikon D3100 and that camera, they only record 10 minutes at a time. And that's, it's, it's a lot to keep up with because this camera, it has a, it, the screen flips, but, which I don't, I mean, I kind of understand why they did like this, but it doesn't flip all the way up so you can't see when you're recording. Like if you, if you're facing, like I'm facing the camera right now, you can't really tell um, how much time you got left on it. And then I purchased an external monitor from my, for my Nikon D3100. And, it, you know, it basically mirrors everything that's on the LCD screen in the back. But sometimes, like a lot of times, I'll think of I want to do a video at last minute and I don't have the battery charge for um, my LCD, um, my external monitor. And so I have to, and then for whatever reason, the batteries, they, they don't last that long. Anyway, so I needed something where I can just flip it up. It's all together. I can just flip the screen. I can see it. And I just needed something that records longer than uh, 10 minutes. Because there have been so many videos that I've done and I've just completely scratched them because... The camera cut off while um, the cut camera cut off when I uh, before I needed it to, or it's just very frustrating to try to you know record a video where you're gonna be talking a lot like I'm doing now, and you can't tell and you have to, in the back of your mind be okay. Let me I gotta stop every few minutes to see where I'm at on my time. Going this camera is not gonna mean that this camera is obsolete or my Nikon D3100 is obsolete. It's just uh, this will be a little bit more um, a little bit more efficient. Let me go ahead and get this baby open and uh, we're gonna test it out. Hey y'all, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Anyway, I just opened the box, took this off and around the box, and then I took this was wrapped around this big box on the inside. But um, anyway, shout out to um, the post office because um, this was in the mailbox at um, like 8 30 this morning. Normally, we don't get our stuff until like um, 3 3 30 in, in the afternoon. And this is it. I got the notification at um three th uh, eight thirty this morning that it was delivered. So uh, shout out to the post office for that. So this is it. This is the and I'm recording this on my phone, y'all. Um, this is the beautiful, beautiful baby. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Um, let me get it open up. So pretty. All right. So you know all the manuals and stuff like that. Um, mess down. So, let's get all this other stuff. So, that's the charger. Um, the bat oh, the battery is smaller than I thought it was. That's the battery. Um, and then this is, uh, what's this? Like a little uh, lanyard, a camera, wrist strap, whatever you want to call it. And then the piece de resistance is right here. And it's a nice little crate to put it in and everything. Okay, it's got some heft to it. I like that. Um... We gotta open that up. And oh there she is. There she is. Look at her. G7X Mark II. So, oh shit, my favorite part right here, watch this. Boom. Flip out screen. So it's really cold. So um, because it's cold outside, it's obvious. But um, let me put the battery in real quick. And um, and like I said, I also want to get a spare battery. Let's see. Oh, I need to get my memory card too. Hold on, let me go get my memory card. Right, let me get my memory card. Which you know, I hope I paid attention because I didn't even see. Okay, I got a little nervous because I wasn't paying attention to make sure that it was a class 10 um SD card. Um just for future just if, if you didn't know, class 10 is like the well then again, I think they have um faster ones now, but um class 10 always works best for your um memory cards for your cameras and stuff like that. So I did get me a class 10, so that's good. And this is a 128 gigabyte I got from Amazon. Um, so let's pop this in. 
I'm struggling, y'all. I'm struggling. Wait, and then I turn my computer light on. Okay, so that's a little better. But we, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, I just, I hope I didn't mess up. I just scratched the memory card. Put the memory card in. I am putting it in to make me wait. Right. No, I'm not. Okay, and then we go slide the battery in. What am I doing wrong? Oh, no. Okay, I'm trying not to break the thing, but it's not letting me close it. There we go. Okay. So, the on off button. Okay. Here we go, what's the day? Today is the... Today's the 22. I just said it while ago. 27. All right, so we are up and running. Oh, I just got a notification that my... And I am already liking the quality of the video. Autofocus cancel. Oh, you know what? Oh, come on, Nikon. Y'all could have gave me a little bit of battery life. But I'm definitely, let me start recording really easy. Go let me record. Step zoom. I don't want to do that. Let's see. Is it recording? It's probably not going to let me record. Because. Okay, it's, okay, now it's recording. Now it's recording. Let's see how quick it can focus. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're struggling a little bit, right? Hold up. Okay, it's okay. I can definitely deal with it. Oh, it's about to die. Oh, the battery just died. Okay, let me charge it up, y'all. And um, I'm going to charge it up a little bit for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to try to take me a nap or something. And I will be back. So I got to let it charge. It's fully charged now. I'm really liking the quality of it. And I just want to check out the touch to focus. Let's see. Is it working? Did I do it? Okay, yeah. And then back on me. So it's pretty good. I did realize before I hit the um before I hit the um record button that like the autofocus was making a really loud noise. But I think now that um it's recording, maybe it's not that loud. Maybe that was just for um taking still photos. But let me see if I can how it's gonna do now that it's recording. It cut off on me earlier. Now Nikon, y'all not Nikon, this is not Nikon. Canon, y'all could have done a little bit better than that. Um, y'all could at least let me play with it for about 10 minutes before the battery died. But anyway, let me see how fast it focuses. Oh no. I think I got it locked on me. See, I gotta keep playing. I gotta figure out how to play with it. Um, Cause I think I gotta change the settings so it'll, um, cause like right now it's just trying to catch me. Okay, there we go. Touch autofocus cancel. Okay, so it is taking a few seconds to, um, it's not the worst that I've seen to kind of focus on stuff. Let's see, come on, bring it in focus. Bring it in focus. It's still focused on me. All right, so I'll put this back here. Okay, so it's taking a little time to focus, but I've seen worse, like my, uh, my old camera. Um, I remember sometimes like I would do a vlog and it would um like something I mean one time it took like over a minute just for it to focus um just for it to focus on me so I can start saying what I had to say. So that much that aspect really doesn't bother me, but like I said, the um it does have the touch to um focus. So I'm gonna touch on this little thing right here and see if it'll focus in. Yeah, so it's doing pretty good. Like I said, I still have to um play with it a little bit. I still got, I'm still getting used to it. It's a bunch of stuff I gotta go ahead and um, toggle with, but I think for the most part, I am, um, I'm pretty pleased with my purchase, um, just gotta get a little bit more comfortable with it, and, um, I think I'll be good, um, one thing, they have the, um, the Canon G7X Mark III now, and, um, one thing I really liked about that one, but that was, like, way out of my price range that I was willing to pay, um, one thing I liked about that one was that, um, you could charge it because for what i've read um a lot of people say that the battery life isn't that good on these cameras 
Um, like I think they said maybe between 30 and 40 minutes. But um, that's why I definitely gotta get me a, um, a battery, um, get me a spare battery. But um, I think I'll be okay. And then one thing I did like about it is with the Canon G7X Mark III, um, I was watching a video and he said that you can charge it and use it at the same time. Um, you can get like a cable, which it didn't come with a cable. You have to buy the cable separate. But um, if you wanted to do like continuous charging and use it at the same time, you could do it. And he even took the battery out, I believe. And I don't know if it still worked. I don't know if he turned it up, but I know it was still charging with that power cord. So I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. But um, like I said, y'all, this will be used for um, this will be used for like a lot of my sit down type of videos. And um, like I said, I'll start using it for my um, for my. Um, oh, let's check out some low lights. So this is in the hallway. I don't have any lights on right now, and it's actually not that bad. Um, actually, yeah, it looks pretty. Let me close my door. I'm gonna close my door. I'm gonna close my mama's. The door's in my mama's room. I'm going to close off this door that leads to the utility room. And it's doing pretty good, actually. And I'm all, like, y'all, it's really dark over in here. You can still kind of see me, so I do, but it's not, it's not gonna focus on me. Um, so like, I know a lot of people that were commenting on how uh, it does well, well in, in dark areas. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you can still see me and it's really dark right here so I'm I'm pleased with that so um, I'm feeling good about my little investment right here I'm, I'm glad I got this because I wanted something that was kind of compact it's not as compact as my old uh, my Nikon my my Canon D my Canon PowerShot N but that would give me like similar in terms of a uh, like quality and um just like you know aperture and stuff I have to you know I have to play with that kind of stuff but I wanted to give me similar results to this uh, my Canon, uh, my Nikon, I need to get it together, my Nikon D3100, but kind of in the, it's not as uh, compact as this, but kind of in a compact format, so this is really good for that. So, um, I want to do just a couple of, um, a couple of uh, quality tests really quick. Let me go get my phone. Well, actually, y'all already saw what my phone looked like, but um, I guess I'll just do that just for, sakes of, uh, for the sake of doing this video. And I'm trying to see, like, what's the recording limit going to be on this thing. Um, right now I'm at 5 minutes and 25 seconds. Let me just do some quick um, quality comparisons really quick. It's a weird angle, but let's go ahead and start these video comparisons. So I'm going to do like a split screen. So basically this is uh, the comparison between my iPhone 6S Plus and the Canon G7X Mark II. So um, over here on this side, this is the, uh, you can cry it anyway, this is the uh, iPhone 6S Plus using the front camera. And then we have the... Um, the Canon PowerShot GX Mark II on this side. So I'm gonna flip it and do the back camera because the back camera is better than um, the front camera on the iPhone. This is what it looks like using the um, iPhone 6S Plus uh, rear camera compared to the um, the Canon PowerShot GX, the Canon G7X Mark II. This is what it looks like on my Canon PowerShot N um, camera compared to the Canon PowerShot the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, I hope I wasn't in focus, y'all. I think so, but you can probably either with them or not, but you can tell the difference in the quality. And now I'm gonna get my um, my DSLR camera. This is the um, comparison between my Nikon D3100 right here and the Canon G7X right here. So um, I'm hoping I'm in focus with my um, Nikon D3100 because um, I can't see myself. I just got it up against the wall. But let me take them. I actually, I'm gonna take these two because this is the main comparison that I wanted to see. And let's just see like the um, the difference in the low light situations between the two. So this is the Nikon D3100 right here, and this is the Canon G7X right here. So, um, and one thing I do want to add is that both of these cameras. Let me get up here. Let me go in my bathroom. Uh oh, did I stop recording? No. All right. So a comparison of the two. Um, I do want to make a point that both of these cameras are um, they're set to auto. I haven't messed with any of the settings, anything like that. So um, I can, I'm looking in the mirror right now and I can tell that the Nikon D3100 in this light, it does look a little bit more yellowish, kind of similar to what um, it actually does look like in here because I have, I think there's like a fluorescent bulb back there behind me and then right here in front of me, I have like the two like warmer type of lights. I'm not sure what they're called. So it does kind of come off kind of yellowish, but on the Canon G7X, it has the more, um, the more brighter, uh, cool kind of look that I actually prefer. So, all right, y'all. So we are five seconds away from reaching the um, the 10 minute mark that my uh, my Nikon D3100 has, and my um, 
my Canon Power Shot in, and we're at, we've surpassed it. So I'm actually about to do a sit down video right now, and I'm gonna use this camera and kind of see how everything works out. So hopefully everything will be good. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this right now, and then I might come back after I do that video. But what's up, y'all? I'm back now. It's several hours later. One thing I do want to add is I just filmed a video, like a sit down type of video, and it did stop recording on me. Um, but um. One thing I do like about it is because of the flip out screen, I was able to see it because um, of um, the numbers because it, uh, it keeps track of um, how, many, how much you're recording, like the uh, minutes and seconds and stuff. They turn orange and I think it stopped at, I think, like 23 or 24 minutes or something like that. And then also once it stopped recording, it made a noise, which my um, my Nikon D3100, it does not do that. So um, like, I, it, like I said, it doesn't have a flip out screen on it. And so um, like a lot of times I will record a video and it will stop it would stop recording, but I, it wouldn't even know that it would stop recording. It would just, um, like the uh, the viewfinder on the back, the screen on the back, it only stays on, I have it set to like 40, it only stays on for like 30 seconds or 45 seconds at a time. And once the screen goes off, it'll let me know, I didn't turn this off earlier. It'll let me know that the, um, it'll make a little clicking noise when the, um, when the viewfinder goes off. And so a lot of times that's how I would know that it has stopped recording. So maybe I can play with the settings a little bit to see if I can adjust that. If not, I'm okay with it. It's much, yeah, 23, 24 minutes. That's, um, that's higher than um, the 10 minutes that's on that camera and my Canon PowerShot N. They have the N2, which is basically just an, it's made, it's same thing, it's made, it's made the same way. But it actually comes up, it flips out the same way that this screen does. It comes up, you know, so you can, it comes up all the way, like right here, like uh, this is a 90 degree, yeah, I think it comes in at a 180, yeah, it, and uh, this is a 90 degree, but the N2, it comes in at a um, 180 degree screen, kind of like, just like the Canon G7X. You know, I'm so, um, I'm really pleased with it, like I need to go back in and mess with the video settings and stuff like that, but um, also, um, the battery did die, so I think between... I was talking to y'all like doing the comparisons and stuff like that for like 10 minutes. And then the video that I shot, I was, did that for like 35 minutes. So I'm gonna say about, you get a, get, get a good about 35, 45 minutes time with the battery. So you definitely, I have to get a, um, a backup battery. So like I said, I'm gonna order one for this and order one for my Nikon D3100. So uh, yeah, you got about a good 45 minutes uh, worth of battery time on this, which that's, that's pretty on par, with it, on par with everything that I read. So yeah. Um, I just want to come in and uh, talk about this really quick because I'm so excited about this camera. I cannot wait to use it late. Uh, can't wait to use it some more. And then I talked about that autofocus noise earlier. When I was recording my video earlier, I didn't have any. Um, I didn't have any problems with it earlier. So that's a good thing as far as like making any autofocus focus and noises. Now I will have to wait until I get um, until I upload it to my computer and try to edit it. I heard that the um, the G7X uh, Mark. Three, that it was actually worse as far as autofocusing, but I think they did like an update or something like that and it fixed it. But, um, and then a touch screen also comes in hand with it because, um, one thing I wanted to add um, about my Canon, uh, my Canon PowerShot M, it didn't, um, it, it, um, you couldn't like touch the focus as far as I'm concerned. I had that, I don't think, you, I don't think you can ever touch to focus it when you were recording, um, video i don't believe i think it just had to do it on, on its own but anyway oh i'm looking kind of orangey reddish now but anyway i did like a fragrance video um it was some stuff a fragrance haul about some fragrances that i bought which i think out of the five i ordered i think four of them are going back um yeah um, that's what happens when you buy blind buy fragrances without smelling them but anyway i gotta get all that cleaned up and uh yeah i'm gonna try to actually i have a whole bunch of videos i need to edit um, I do want to get this edited sometime, but I have like my fragrance collection video I have to edit. I got to do the last day of Vlogmas. I should just give it up at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and get that knocked out. I want to have it knocked out by the end of the, this month, even though Vlogmas ended two months, almost two months ago. But anyway, um, get that done. So this will have to come last because I want to get all the other stuff knocked out. But like I said, I'm really excited about my new camera. Um, I got to get, like I said, I got to get and um, got to learn some, some more things about it. But um, right now what I'm about to do is I'm about to take some stuff out. Um, there's a recipe that I am working on for my cooking channel, and I almost have it exactly, it's a dessert, I almost have it exactly how I want it to be. Um, I just gotta tweak a few more things, so I'm about to take it, I should've took this stuff out earlier. Get all my ingredients out to get them coming to room temperature. It's 6, 8, 6, 19 now, so I'm a little later than I want it to be, but it'll be alright, because I'm off for the rest of the week. I took some, uh, PTO time off, because I had some carryover. 
from last year. I had two days carryover from last year. And I think with my job, we have to have it, like if we have carryover from the previous year, we have to have it used up by, I think sometime in March. And so I had to, I went ahead and took these two days. So today and tomorrow. And then I'm also off this weekend, so that's good. So I got me a, like a little mini vacation Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so yeah, I'm just hopefully this recipe comes out good tonight. And then I can film it maybe tomorrow and then have it uploaded um, before the week is over. But I'm about to do all the clean this up, get this stuff ready, play with this camera some more. And then, um, yeah, so I will talk to y'all a little bit later. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Should I end the vlog here? I don't know. if I if I, I think I'm going to end it here because I've been talking for a long time now. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Um, if you got any tips or tricks or anything like that about this camera, please let me know that as well. Go check me out on my cooking channel. I will have the link to that in uh, the description box. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all on the next video.